extremely challenging. It was a 26 hour, 44 mile journey by paddleboard across Lake Michigan from New Buffalo, Michigan to Chicago. I didn't eat food throughout the entire thing. I was drinking shakes with carbohydrates. Mike Shoreman is used to challenges. In 2018, he was diagnosed with the Ramsey Hunt syndrome, a rare neurological disorder that can cause facial paralysis, hearing loss in the affected ear, and other complications. I lost my mobility and I had to learn how to walk again. And the doctor said you'll never paddleboard. But the Toronto-based paddleboard coach regained his strength both physically and mentally. And now he's back at it, attempting to make history this summer as the first athlete with a disability to cross all five Great Lakes on a paddleboard. With Huron, Superior, and Erie already checked off the list, he turned his attention to Lake Michigan Tuesday. A small crew traveled alongside him by boat to document the journey and make sure he stayed safe. I kept on saying to them, you know, maybe we have to call this. And, and they said, no, we'll let you know when we're going to call this. So Shoreman kept his eyes on Chicago's picturesque skyline and made it to shore at North Avenue Beach around 8 this morning. Nice work, Mike. Very sore today, but um, but very happy to be here in Chicago. He's hoping to inspire people with disabilities as well as raise money to support youth mental health organizations in his native Canada. I had a mental health breakdown and on the other side of receiving mental health treatment, I, re I realized that I didn't want kids to ever feel that way. The greatest lesson that I've learned is to not, uh, not listen to what people say that you can and cannot do. What a journey and it's not over yet. One more Great Lake to go. His final destination is his hometown of Toronto by way of Lake Ontario. That is set for next month. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.